Welcome back. Today we're going to work on making a painting room for our little paint stuff that we made. You want to cut the bottom part and the side pieces. Once you have them cut, then you want to countersink two holes on the bottom of the left side and three holes on the right side. Two of them being at the bottom and one of them being about three inches down. After that, you want to go ahead and start pre-drilling your screws into it to get them started. Okay, so then you want to screw the top piece in. Now, make sure when you're doing it that this one is going into this way and then this one is overlapping in the back back here. That way, when you put the floor in, it fits. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to put the two inside screws in first and then the outside, which meaning the ones toward the back here. Okay, when you have it all screwed together, it should look kind of like this. Alright, the next step would be to put your carpet in. You can use contact cement to hear it, or you can hot glue it and then just tack it. Alright, so to apply the glue, we're just going to smear it out using an old card. One of them ones you get in the mail that just roll away. This is me making messes. Alright, so once you have it on here, then you can lay your carpet. Just press it right in there. You can use a clean card, you or wanna, you can just use your finger either way. If you want to screw it up, you can use the old card. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of press it flat, gradually. So that the corner will wrap, you need to cut it just a little bit. When it dries, you want to trim this piece right here off. Okay, so what you want to do until this dries is you want to put a piece of um, wood on here and clamp it so that it'll hold it flat until it dries. Okay, so now you want to install your wallpaper or paint it or whatever you're going to do. I'm going to just put some... Um, uh, gosh, can't think of it scrapbook paper that's it <laughs> one here so how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go ahead and apply some Mod Podge to this and this dries rather quickly so you want to get it on here and not play around make sure you get your edges pretty good and in the middle here
Right, try not to hit your carpet like I just did, but if you do, then hopefully you're gonna put some trim on there and it'll hide it. Okay, so you wanna pre-cut your wallpaper and you wanna press it down in here. And then just walk it to you with the card. After you have that side done, then you want to do the next side the same way. Okay, so your wallpaper should look sort of like this. Okay, so to hide the raw edges, we took some paint sticks and we stripped them down. You can just buy three quarter inch wood though. And we're gonna cut them to glue them right here. That way we don't see that raw edge. Okay, just to give you an idea, you could take some scrap of paper or you could do the popsicle floors or skinny stick floors and kind of use that as opposed to carpet if you didn't want to use carpet. And then just seal it with some Mod Podge for a gloss. Okay, so now we have the pieces for the side that we've started to cut to hide this raw edge. You want to go ahead and start your nails first in your wood. And then you want to put a bead of glue down here to attach it. Don't go excessive with the glue, though. Just tap it down in there. Okay, so now if you want to put crown molding up, you need to cut it at a 45 in the corner and a flat on the end. You want to cut two pieces to where they meet. Okay, so now you just want to put a little bead of glue along the back side of the top edge. And then right where your joint is going to meet, you want to put a tiny bit of glue there. And then we're keeping it with the edge up here. Um, that way if I ever want to change the paper out, I can. Okay, while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and cut some floor molding for around here. We're just going to use regular box molding for that. Okay, so to put this on here, you want to put some thin strip of glue and then you want to put it all the way down at the floor and then just attach it just like that. And then the next piece, you're going to flip it over and you're going to do the same thing this way. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like right there and then now to make it a painting room, we need to finish our painting products. I'll be doing a ladder in one of the tutorials, so keep an eye out for that. And then I'm gonna put some paint splashes on the wall. Okay, since this is gonna be a room that we're using for a painting display, I'm just kinda of swatching the paint on in different directions. Just randomly. All right, now I'm making a painter's drop cloth. Just taking various paint colors and splatting them on here. That yellow kind of came out in a hurry on me.
All right, and we'll let that dry. Now I'm just taking a brush and kind of blotting it a little bit to get the thickness out and kind of spread it out a little bit more. Okay guys, well that was it for this video. We are still working on some minor things with the dollhouse. We have a little bit more to go. However, if you subscribe below, we will post the images or the videos as we do it so that you can see how the progress goes. Also, if you subscribe, we'll have the tutorials that we'll post as well and you'll be able to see them. And we plan on making some furniture and a few other DIYs. So you don't wanna miss that and also if you go on our Facebook page under Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials, you will be able to find lots and lots of pictures of everything that we've done along with a few other things. And then, you know, you can comment there or you can comment below. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to leave them. And we will get to them as soon as we can. But other than that, we're going to continue working on this Miniature Madness because we're having a ball. And thanks for watching and have a great day.